Greetings, journeyers. Welcome to another episode on Mindful Journey, the channel that takes you on a thrilling ride through the annals of history. Here at Mindful Journey, we strive to educate, entertain, and engage you with intriguing narratives from history's vast tapestry. From detailed analysis of epoch-making events to captivating tales from various epochs, we've got you covered. Before we delve into the labyrinth of today's topic, remember to hit that subscribe button, share our content with your history-loving friends, and drop a comment about your thoughts on our journey today. Today we're stepping back to the 1970s United States to unravel the infamous Watergate scandal. Let's set the scene. It's the early morning of June 17, 1972. A security guard at the Watergate office complex in Washington, D.C. stumbles upon a piece of tape holding a door lock open. He removes it, thinking nothing of it. But when he returns on his next round, he finds the tape back in place. Suspicious, he calls the police. The authorities arrive and to their surprise, they discover five men inside the Democratic National Committee headquarters. Arrested on the spot, these men weren't your average burglars. They were dressed in business suits and carried sophisticated photographic equipment and electronic surveillance devices. But here's where it gets interesting. These men weren't acting independently. They had connections to a larger, more sinister operation. You see, they were linked to the committee to re-elect the president, also known as CRP, or more ironically, as CREEP. This was the official organization of President Richard Nixon's re-election campaign. The question was, why would individuals linked to the president's re-election campaign break into the offices of the opposing party? The answer, as we'll discover, was as complex as it was shocking. The intent was to photograph campaign documents and install listening devices in telephones. This was not just a break-in. It was a calculated political move, a play for power. But to say this event sent shockwaves through the political landscape would be an understatement. It was more like a seismic quake, its aftershocks reaching the highest echelons of power. The incident sparked a flurry of investigations, lawsuits and media coverage, all trying to unravel the twisted threads of this political intrigue. Yet, in the moment, no one could have predicted the extent of the scandal that was about to unfold. Little did the world know, this break-in was just the tip of an iceberg, setting the stage for one of the biggest political scandals in the history of the United States. As investigations intensified, the Watergate scandal began to reveal a web of deceit, corruption, and abuse of power. The Nixon administration's involvement in the break-in was more than just a rumor. It was as real as the rising sun, and the fallout would cast a long, dark shadow over the American political landscape. The administration's efforts to cover up their involvement were as intricate as they were audacious. A money trail was soon discovered, leading back to the committee to re-elect the president, or CRP. This money wasn't just for campaign posters and rallies. It was used to fund the break-in and subsequent cover-up. But the most damning evidence was yet to come. Secret White House tapes were uncovered, revealing President Nixon and his aides discussing plans to obstruct the FBI's investigation into the break-in. These tapes, once made public, were the smoking gun that linked the scandal to the highest levels of government. The role of the Washington Post in uncovering the scandal cannot be overstated. Reporters Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein worked tirelessly, following leads, interviewing sources, and piecing together a puzzle that many in power wished to remain unsolved. Their work shone a light on the dark corners of the Nixon administration, revealing the depths of the deceit. Testimonies from key players further cemented the administration's involvement. Former White House counsel John Dean testified before the Senate detailing an extensive cover-up operation within the White House. His testimony was a pivotal moment turning the tide of public opinion against Nixon. The scandal was no longer a simple case of burglary. It had morphed into a constitutional crisis that shook the nation. The Watergate scandal was a profound wound on the American body politic. 
a wound that would take years, if not decades, to fully heal. The scandal took a dramatic turn when it began to consume the very top of American politics. In a series of events that would shake America to its core, the Watergate scandal took an unexpected turn, inching higher and higher until it reached the very peak of political power. The Presidency President Richard Nixon found himself in the eye of the storm. The House Judiciary Committee in July 1974 approved three articles of impeachment against him. The charges were serious and grave, obstruction of justice, abuse of power, and contempt of Congress. Each one a powerful blow to the integrity of the Oval Office and the man occupying it. Let's delve a little deeper. The charge of obstruction of justice stemmed from Nixon's alleged attempts to impede the FBI's investigation into the Watergate break-in, a clear violation of the law. Abuse of power was linked to his misuse of federal agencies, including the IRS, to harass political opponents and activist groups. Contempt of Congress was based on his refusal to comply with congressional subpoenas for tapes of White House conversations. But before the impeachment could be completed, Nixon made a decision that would forever mark a unique moment in American history. On August 8, 1974, Nixon announced his resignation, the first and so far the only president in the country's history to do so. He left the office and the White House, leaving behind a nation in shock and a political landscape forever changed. In the aftermath, the world watched as the Vice President, Gerald Ford, was swiftly sworn in as the new leader of the free world. And with a nation still reeling from the scandal, he declared, our long national nightmare is over. The Watergate scandal culminating in the only presidential resignation in American history left an indelible mark on the nation's political landscape. It was a pivotal moment that tested the resilience of American democracy and the strength of its institutions, reminding us that nobody, not even the president, is above the law. The Watergate scandal, a tale of political intrigue and corruption, forever changed the way Americans viewed their government. We've journeyed through the dark night of the break-in, the tangled webs of the cover-up, the relentless pursuit of truth by investigative journalists, and ultimately, the fall of President Nixon. A story that reminds us of the power of truth and accountability. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Watergate scandal. Don't forget to subscribe, share and comment. Until our next mindful journey, stay curious and keep exploring.